It's a campaign stop that's become a ritual. Once a week, Fernando Haddad heads to prison to visit Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva. The former president finally passed the baton to Haddad last month, after Lula was barred from running for a third term. Even if he's serving time for corruption, Lula is still omnipresent. On Monday, he published a call for voters to save the nation from far-right rival Jair Bolsonaro, a fight shared by the new Workers' Party candidate. We say not him because he doesn't respect diversity, he doesn't respect women, he doesn't respect black people. And Brazil is made up of 52 percent blacks and 52 percent women. But Jair Bolsonaro is doing well. On Sunday, the far-right candidate rallied thousands in Sao Paulo. Jornal do Brasil polls say he's the front-runner in the first round and is neck-and-neck neck with candidate Haddad in the second. It's been a spectacular rise for the congressman. He's adored by fans who see him as an outsider. But Bolsonaro is equally reviled for his far-right rhetoric. Last month, he was stabbed in an attempted assassination and has only just left hospital. The campaign has not been an easy one for the Workers' Party either. Haddad was handed the candidacy less than a month ago. And Brazil's anti-corruption judge, Sergio Moro, has just allowed statements made by one of Lula's former ministers to become public. Antonio Pelosi testified that Lula was fully aware of the Petrobras corruption scheme before the scandal broke and before it upturned Brazilian politics.